What's going on, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Stochastic, and it's Friday, which means I'm about to break down the upcoming So Rare slate. If you guys haven't joined So Rare yet, it's totally free to do it. But if you sign up using the link that we have below, if you do want to start paying for some cards on So Rare, the first five limited card players you purchase, you get a sixth one for free. So Rare is a collectible card game. You play fantasy sports contests based around the players you collect. I'm going to be covering NBA today, but there's also a soccer and an MLB product as well over at So Rare. And what's great about it is that we have free projections for it over at stochastic.com. I'm going to put them up on the screen right here because this is going to help inform us about some of the decisions that we make about the upcoming slate, which is going to be running for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's games. And there are so many players on the injury report, so many players that are resting and teams getting ready for the playoffs at this point in the NBA season. There's a ton of value over at So Rare. And I'm going to highlight some of my favorite value pieces right here and uh, some of the players that are out as well that are creating all this value. I'm going to explain why it is these players project well for us. And uh, one thing I should note as well, because I've seen some questions about this as of late, when players play multiple games in a slate over at Sawyer, you do not get the total points of those players, but there's still a benefit to a player playing multiple games because you get the highest score of those two. So I'm looking right now at our top projected values for the upcoming slate, which I think is going to be most important for us to single out some of these players just based on the amount of players that are out right now for NBA. And we're basically going to be able to take a couple of stars, pay up for, and then fill in the rest of the lineup with some of these value pieces. So Svi Mikaluk, for instance, one of the best value plays we have projecting for us because of all the guys that are out for Charlotte. Hard to not like Svi. The last 10 averages 13. So the last 10 average is the equivalent of the salary for each of these players. And the salary within the salary cap is just, what has each of these players averaged in terms of fantasy points over the last 10 games? And the current situation with the Charlotte Hornets is this team is aggressively tanking, but really aggressively to the point where they're replacement level players. They're not even playing. Dennis Smith Jr. is questionable. So this is the injury report we have upcoming right now. Kelly Oubre is questionable. I don't expect him to play. Kai Jones is doubtful tonight. Gordon Hayward is doubtful. Terry Rozier is out. Lamella Ball is out for the season. Team is tanking. Sue McCulloch has started in recent games. He's played extended minutes. I expect that to continue. And there just aren't that many players active for the Hornets. They've only got like eight, nine active guys they're going to be playing today. Something along those lines. We still that last game. Svi started, played 37 minutes. Great option. So his salary, 13. His last 10 average. We're projecting him for 31.74. That makes him the top overall value play of the slate. So I'm going to come back to the value in a second. But first, I also want to focus on some of the overall highest projected players because there's so much value. It's not going to be hard to get to these guys. And also depending what contest you're in, there's an MVP spot where the highest salary player that you play doesn't even count against your cap anyway. So Anthony Davis looks like a prime spot for him. I have some concerns about Jokic and Embiid resting in upcoming games. Embiid less so than Jokic, but Jokic for sure. He sat out on Thursday night. He's officially listed as questionable now for Friday. So I would avoid him just based on that. But Anthony Davis, even though LeBron James is back for the Lakers, at least has been back, LeBron is listed as questionable for Friday. So if he's out, that would be a big boost to Anthony Davis. But the other thing, too, is the Lakers are fighting not just for a playoff spot, but to make the play-in game. So with that in mind, if LeBron is active and healthy, he's going to play big minutes. Same goes for Anthony Davis. I, I feel pretty safe about him as a payoff option. His salary is only 47 as compared to 58 for Joel Embiid, 56 for Nikola Jokic, and then some other guys that are popping up pretty meaningfully for us right here. Kyrie Irving projects extremely, extremely well. So I know a lot of people might be looking at the situation with uh, Kyrie Irving with the Dallas Mavericks. And, you know, we haven't seen a ton of Kyrie playing alongside Luka, but just considering the spot that the Mavericks are in the standings right now, I think it stands to reason that we're going to see extended minutes out of Kyrie Irving. And as long as the team has something to play for, Kyrie's a great payoff option. So Kyrie, Anthony Davis, I think they are players that we should really prioritize on the high end if we have cards. And on the cheap side, talked about Svi. In addition to him, here's some of the other players that project well. We got we to gotta look at all of these different guys from the Portland Trailblazers. Kevin Knox, Shaden Sharp, Drew Eubanks is up here. Nasir Little also towards the top. The reason the Trailblazers players project so well, same thing I talked about with the Hornets, but maybe even more aggressive in terms of the tanking. Because when you look at Portland right now, and we know about the Damian Lillard situation, how they've ruled him out, but it's not just Dame who isn't expected to play for the rest of the season. In addition, Anthony Simons, Keon Johnson, Jeremy Grant, Yusuf Nurkic, I don't anticipate any of these guys playing the rest of the season. And last game, we
We saw the Blazers only run a seven-man rotation. Massive minutes for some of the starters. Shaden Sharp played nearly the entire game, 46 minutes. So guys like Knox, Shaden Sharp, Nasir Little, they're going to keep playing close to 40 minutes. And at these kind of salaries, 22 for Shaden Sharp. Uh, Eubanks is in here at 19. We have Kevin Knox at 9. Because these are guys who just almost never play. Nasir Little at 13. Some of the top overall values we have. You have access to any of these Portland players, load them up. Great slate to play with Portland Trailblazers. And then one other player that I want to talk about, Obi Toppin. And, you know, Toppin's not a guy that we've seen really take a step forward this year. He's kind of been buried on the Knicks bench. But Julius Randle is out for tonight. And that should bring Toppin back into the rotation to play a really big part for this team. And it's a matchup against the Cleveland Cavaliers as well, where the Knicks are going to need some size. I think we could see Toppin start, even if he comes off the bench. He probably plays close to 30 minutes, if not more than that in this spot. And considering that his playing time hasn't been quite as much as anticipated this year, he's also a candidate to play garbage time if the Knicks end up getting blown out. So a lot of good value on the board. That'll happen at this time of the season. If you guys want to reference these projections, they're totally free over at stochastic.com. So take advantage of them while you're building out your so rare lineups. And if you haven't signed up at so rare yet, use the link we have below. Because when you sign up for the first time, you purchase five limited player cards, you get a six one totally for free. So that does it for me. If you guys have any questions, let me know below in the comment section. But also, before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck, and I hope you have a great weekend.